Hey guys, Preppers one here. This is going to be take two, and I'll tell you why I take two in a second. But today is Wednesday, April 19th. Uh, it is months going by really fast. So the reason is take two is because when I got done making the first video, which went actually very well, I walked around to the back of the camera and I thought it wasn't recording, and I said a naughty word, and then I realized it was still recording. So I didn't want that naughty word. <laughs> to be on the video so now we're doing take two okay so today we're gonna talk about how to make hospital grade normal saline at home okay uh, this is a really important topic guys because uh, I'm gonna use an example of a friend of mine recently a uh, buddy of mine in South Carolina had diarrhea and was throwing up okay and he lost a lot of body fluids in a hurry and in a very short period of time uh, he had to go and end up going to the hospital because once his muscles started cramping, he knew he was in trouble. And so he had to get some IV fluids. Okay, so what do they give him? They give him normal saline. Okay, so you say, well, what is normal saline? So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to talk about normal saline, how to make it, how long to keep it, how to ingest it, and, um, you know, and all that type of stuff. It's actually very, very easy important information to have uh, especially in an SHTF situation you really it would it could save your life okay so let's get started okay so um, normal saline is a mixture of salt and water okay uh, it has the same consistency as uh, your tears and uh, your blood and I'm just trying to make sure I'm saying everything right here um, and your, and your other body fluids, okay, which is 0.9% saline. So basically your tears, your blood, and your other body fluids are all 0.9% saline. So normal saline is used a lot to put fluids back into people's body because it has the same consistency of the fluids already in your body, okay. So um, anyway, so Basically, the best way, if you're going to have normal saline given to a person, is intravenously. Okay, so you're going to put it right into a vein. You can do it here. You can do it through the hand. Okay, I mean, like I got really, you can see my veins really well in my hand. You can go that way, and you put that in the vein, a needle in the vein, and that fluid can go right into your vein that way. Okay, and they generally they hang the bag and. Uh, you know, it's, I don't want to say gravity fed, but it's kind of gravity fed. It's, it's, it's put in at a, at a slower pace. You would make it go in at a slower pace. You don't want it to go in real fast. Um, that's why you're going to hang that bag higher because it, gravity can bring it right straight down into the vein. Okay. Um, cause most people are not going to have an IV pump. <laughs> so let's be honest, you know, I mean, that's realistic. So, okay, so how do we make normal saline and what do we need? Okay, real, real simple. You need a pot that has a lid on it. Okay, you're going to need water and you're going to need salt. Pretty much that's it. Okay, so for every cup of water, you're going to need a half a teaspoon of salt. Okay, so what you're going to basically do, depending on how much you make, we're just going to go with one cup of salt and one cup of, or one half teaspoon of uh, salt. So you're going to put that on the stove or whatever, wherever you're, you're burning it, and uh, you're going to bring that to a boil. You're going to put a lid on it, okay? Once it's to that boil, you're going to put your lid on it. You're going to let it boil for 15 minutes, okay? You're going to take it off of the fire. You're going to set it aside, let it cool back down to room temperature. You want to keep that lid on there, though, okay? Don't take that lid off there. Once it's back to... Um, room temperature what you're going to do is you're going to take um, a glass jar or a bottle whatever whatever you're using okay and so let's go on going back to the glass jar and the bottle you're going to want to make sure that they're very very clean okay and i mean like cleaned recently cleaned so using hot soapy water so if, if you can wash that with hot soapy water rinse it out and then let it you know dry you can probably do that after you make your saline and while that saline is sitting um, coming back down to room temperature that would be the time to, to 
wash out your glass jar or bottle, okay? The best way to do it is in a dishwasher. Now, we're talking an SHTF situation, you're probably not going to be using your dishwasher. So, very, very hot soapy water, that's what you're going to want to use, okay? So, we're going to very carefully pour that saline into that jar or bottle, okay? So, now you have normal saline. Okay, so how do we, how are we going to put the normal saline into us? Now, I already mentioned one, the intravenous, you know, through your, through right into a vein. Uh, it can be put in two other ways as well. It can be used um, as an, like a nasal rinse where you get the, you suck it up into your nasal cavity and do it that way, okay? And, you know, you're going to, basically it's cleaning out your sinuses is what that's going to do. So if you're having sinus issues, you can be used for, excuse me, I've got something in my eye, uh, for that as well. It can also be used as a bladder irrigation. So you can put, uh, put a catheter into the penis or into the vagina, right directly into the bladder, and you can put it in that way as well. But the best way, if somebody is dehydrated, is through IV, okay? Now, some important tips to remember, okay? Number one, and I will say this is number one, don't drink it. You don't drink it. That's not how you put it in your body, okay? Uh, number two, if, you, okay, basically you're only going to keep normal saline solution for 24 hours. That is the max amount of time you want to keep it, okay? After that, you throw it out because bacteria can start to grow in it, which will cause you to have an infection, and you don't want that. Uh, it's going to make things worse, okay? So 24 hours is a max. Now, the best time to use it is as soon as possible so like right after you make it within an hour or two after you make it that would probably be the best time to use normal saline okay um, but like I said you can use it with up to 24 hours now a couple things to watch for if it gets uh, cloudy or if it looks dirty I don't care if it's under 24 hours you get rid of it because it's not any good then okay um, I'm trying to think here's something else I wanted to uh, let's see. Um, I think I, yeah, I went over all that. Okay, so another thing that normal saline can be used for, it can also be used to clean contact lenses. Again, it has the same consistency as the uh, tears in our eyes, so it's a good solution to be able to clean your contact lenses if you have contact lenses. I know a lot of people do. I obviously have glasses. So, um, this is a real easy thing, guys, you know, it's, uh, it's called, uh, you know, normal saline because it's 0.9% saline, all right, salt and water, that's all it is, and it's going to rehydrate you, um, it's going to make sure that, you know, you can survive, and uh, so you're going to need to learn how to, you know, do IVs, you know, have that information. Um, like this here, this information, if you want to take it, write it down, set it aside someplace so you have it. Now you know how to make normal saline. This is something important, actually, really important, something that could save your life. Um, if you had heat stroke, it's another good thing to use. Um, anybody that's had heat stroke knows exactly what I'm talking about. I've had heat stroke. It is not fun. I mean, it is not fun at all. And uh, I just basically, and actually I did it when we first got up here, I overdid it and I did it on a day that was about 90 degrees and I just it was I was wiped out I mean and of course I never went to the hospital because I'm kind of a stubborn person but uh, you know I dealt with it on my own but uh, it's it's something that could kill you okay heat stroke can kill you uh, dehydration can kill you okay if you're having uh, copious amounts of uh, vomiting and, uh, and and you know diarrhea you're in big big trouble Okay, so in copious, I'm sorry if anybody doesn't know, that's a lot, a large amount. Um, so um, I'm not trying to be all important using big words on you. I'm really not. I'm sorry. I just, anyway, so very important, good information to have, um, being able to have IVs as well to be able to use it. Like I said, you're going to want to hang your bag you know, or your jar or whatever you're going to be using higher up so that it can gravity feed in. Um, most likely, most people are not going to have IV poles. Most of us don't. I don't, okay, and I'm a nurse and I don't have an IV pole. 
So, but knowing how to make normal saline, knowing how to use it, knowing how long to keep it, all real important stuff to have, guys. And like I said, it could save somebody's life. And you, you know, you do what you have to do. So anyway, guys, listen, I hope this helps. Um, like I said, I told you I was going to be doing some more medical videos, but there's been a lot of other stuff going on, so I wanted to share other stuff as well. But I will be throwing these in here um, from time to time. So there we go. All right, so I hope it helps. Uh, like I said, write the information down, real important stuff, guys. Okay, I will talk to you later. So now you know how to make normal saline. You can save somebody's life with that, especially in an SHTF situation. Huge. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Prepper Nurse going out for now.